Another way of using the output of the modified Jones model is to use it in predicting the level of earnings management of another year or period. We do this through what is typically called an event study. We start by presenting the data set we are using in our example. We have six years of data for each of the 53 firms in the sample. Like all the previous illustrations, we will still have the same variables specified in the model, the net income, cash flow from operations, gross revenues, accounts receivable, property planning equipment, and total assets. Then we compute the lag assets, lag revenues and receivables, one year delta or change on revenues and receivables, and the total accruals. Finally, we compute the scaled value of total accruals, one, the difference between the delta of revenues and receivables, scaled property planning equipment, and the return on assets. But before we do the regression, let's do a little review. In an event study, we want to know if earnings management is any different because of the occurrence of an event. So it is important to first identify the cutoff point, separate the event period from the rest. In our example, the event occurred in year 5 and 6. These two years belong to the event period. It also means that the years before the event, years 1 to 4, are the stable periods. What we want is to use the stable period to estimate the abnormal accruals had the event not occurred. The reason is that we believe that the stable period can better provide information of what is expected in the succeeding years. Think of it like forecasting. We take the data from the past to predict the performance in the future. Review that in the modified Jones model, the residual or the error term represents the abnormal accruals. Therefore, this part of the model estimates the normal accruals. The idea is, we use the model to estimate the coefficients that are considered normal, and the best way to estimate the coefficients of a normal accrual is to use the stable period. We bring the estimated coefficients to the event period, and this will help us predict the residuals of the event periods. 